All right, hey guys, we're back here with Luke and Hennyman, and uh, we're working on the white crust hole currently. And for guess what reason? Because it's crusty. Uh, I went to go use it for something probably about a week ago now, and a gas tank strap decided it needed to snap. Um, because of course it's nice and crusty. Luckily it was only one, the other one is in um, as perfect shape as it's going to be, and it's going to stay that way, I only bought one. Uh, so, right now the right side of the uh, gas tank is held up by the rubber part of the strap, and probably maybe a vent tube, I'm not sure. Either way, um, I'm going to have to support it with, some, with a jack and some blocks, because I'm going to have to remove this grass tank strap and its rubber strap right now. Um, I suppose I could have used a ratchet strap too, but I figured, you know, new gas tank strap isn't that expensive, I might as well fix it the right way, right? Yeah, that always makes sense. <clears throat> this is of course the new gas tank strap. It's a Crown, Auto it's a Crown Automotive one. Um, I think I bought this one off of Summit, possibly. I forget where exactly I got it, but it was like 20 bucks. Not too bad, but uh, should do the job. These are what I replaced my red um, Jeep with. Um, I had to replace both of them on that one, not just one. And they, uh, they're pretty good quality. They're come painted and uh, have the, a new rubber thing on there, and they also give you a front hanger part, which you'll see in a second. Hopefully that jack doesn't get too much in the way.
Alrighty, the uh, gas tank strap is in there. I got it all tightened up nice and tight. However, the only issue is of course that I cut that. So, I'm gonna do this the wrong way and drill a hole here and just zip tie your get a piece of wire to hold this up there a little bit. Um, that's definitely not the right way and if you were to do this the right way what you'd want to do is spend some more time to get this nut out while it's on the Jeep still and uh, you'd be able to just slip this on this uh, shaft here like you're supposed to and you'd be done right now but I'm gonna take another couple minutes drill a hole there then find uh, some kind of piece of wire to wrap around there but uh it's on there. It's a quick job on one of these to be honest with you. You just have to wrestle with the strap a little bit to get it up into the slot up in there there. But uh, well yeah that's a, that's a wrap on this. Alright there's your view of the uh, wire that I twisted up into there. Good enough for this Jeep. Good enough for me. So that'll do it for uh, this edition of the Weekend Hennyman. Uh, stick around by subscribing, leave a comment below, tell me about how rusty this Jeep is, uh, give it a like, check us on the Facebook, link will be in the description, but no matter what, get out there, do something, build something. Next task of the day is to bring this tire to be melted and have a little bit of a balancing done on it, and uh, I gotta pick up some bolts. But you'll have to check out some other videos on this channel to find out about that.